Hey, FlossTube. I'm Joy. I'm Emma Kay. And we're the Carolina Stitchers. So we're coming at you today. It's a little bit different than our regular videos. We're going to go through some things we have found to gear up for our spooky September series. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to finish some Halloween items. And we're going to go ahead and record it and hopefully you guys can get some ideas. I will say I'm not going to finish any pillows. I'm not going to be lacing. I can lace. I have laced before, but I found it's really simple. If I use my glue gun, everything stays season to season. I've had several seasons now of finishings that are doing just fine. And it is faster for me. And I, you do run the risk of getting a little burn. <laughs> so I also keep beside my glue station a little cup of water just to but so far so good. Nothing. I've not been Teenager. hospitalized, oh, so no. I think we're fine. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the basics and tell you guys what I have on hand when I'm finishing for any season. I, first of all, gather up my press board mounting pieces and I purchased these at Joann's. I have purchased them on Amazon and I have purchased from Fat Quarter Shop and I just get a whole plethora of sizes because I will cut the sizes. I find it's cheaper. It's like the same price to buy a large piece as it is to buy like a five by seven. Mm -hmm. And I can get several things from this large piece. So I purchased that. With that, I guess it could be my van. With that, I use my swing line guillotine that I purchased at Amazon. And if anything, if it's too large for the guillotine, I'll buy a one large solid piece of not usually foam cord, but some kind of press board. And then I'll take the measurements and I'll give them to my husband. And he uses, he said it wasn't an X-Acto knife, but I can't remember, a craft knife maybe. I will uh, ask him again and include that below. So I make sure I have that on hand. I have my industrial glue gun, I bet it's very glued up, that I purchased <laughs> on Amazon. I'll leave that link. I always buy my glue sticks in bulk. I'm telling you, it's usually like, Maybe 50 to 100 in a box. So mm -hmm. buy them that way. I use a little pan, sheet pan, that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I set my glue gun on it in between. That way I'm not gluing everything together. I make sure with all of my pieces, I use a very thin batting. I purchased this at Joann's. It's Polyfill Low Loft. And I do that on top of the press board. I'll show you guys when I'm going through the finishing. So I make sure I have that on hand. And then usually I'll use some sort of backing fabric. And my go-to is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids, Chelsea's Checks, and Priscilla's Stripes. So these are just a few that I have. I have the orange. This is the Chelsea's Checks. Much smaller check. Priscilla's Plaids. And I just grabbed a few others that I had. I have it in the orange and black. And really then like I really love their stripes. I use their stripes a lot. And then it's just the black stripe. And I purchased all of these at Fat Quarter Shop. So you can find them there. Again, we will try to leave a link for most everything that we're discussing today. Mm -hmm. And I think that's mainly what I make sure that I have on hand to even begin any project. Mm -hmm. And after that, I will look around, see what I have in my, uh, it's not an Black attic. Room. Yeah. <laughs> It's usually craft closet, wherever <laughs> I can stuff things that I find. But I did go on the hunt this uh, past August. Are we still in August? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I went to Dollar Tree, I went to Joann's, and I went to Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to show you guys what I found there. If we have links for it, I'll link below. The Dollar Tree, I'm not going to link because if you buy it on Dollar Tree, you're gonna to have to buy 50 of them. Mm -hmm. And the majority of these, these are items I just walked right into my local store who I feel like you, they don't usually have too much of anything. But I just walked in there and I was able to find these few items from Dollar Tree. So I think I'm gonna get started with my Dollar Tree haul. I purchased a little velvet pumpkin. I found these, which I love. They're sweater this. Mm -hmm. S pumpkins, a dollar each. I found those, and they also have these little clips on the back. Oh, that's nice. So I thought that would be useful. I found these at Dollar Tree. How cute are those? And I will say, usually when I'm decorating for Halloween, what would you say my style is? 
more of a uh, rustic. Yeah, I think not so, so like much like um, scary. Like you got some spooky, but it's spooky, more like spooky, but it's like rustic. It's not that. It's not like um, smiley. It's it's mm -hmm. like if you walked into a haunted house, something they would have <laughs> sitting on their table. It's yeah. not so much like smiling pumpkins mm -hmm. and the like of that. So I found that at Dollar Tree. I actually found some wooden pieces at Dollar Tree. Let's see. I believe I found these at Dollar Tree. I did. Mm -hmm. So I got one for me, one for Emma. Found these at Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. I found these at Dollar Tree, which I thought would be fun for a finish because they already have, you can buy these at Amazon. They're little like poster holders. Oh, yeah. And it said this is one piece and it's already done up. It's cute as it is, but I thought if you have a larger finish, that might mm -hmm. be a fun way to finish it. So I did find that at the Dollar Tree. And then, did I get that at Dollar Tree? Yes, I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's just a little box. But I thought it might be fun to do a finish. Emma has a lot of smaller finishes. Oh, yeah. So I thought that might be fun to do a little Thank finish you. on it. So I found that at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. And then, I think that, that was about it for my Dollar Tree haul. Let's see, there's other items I found at Joann's. I found, let's see, we went to Walmart. Did I get any other spooky stuff at Walmart? I may have some pumpkins, but I don't think it was necessarily for finishing. But I did, I'll go ahead and show you guys these. They're the Harvest 50 LED Fairy Lights, the Warm White, and I absolutely love these when I'm decorating and I put them on a lot of my tables. It just gives a really nice like vibe. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. And that is also going to be part of Spooky September. When I finish an item, I'm going to also insert pictures and just show you guys how I put that into my own decor. And with Halloween, I decorate for fall first, and then I put my Halloween in around my fall decor. Mm -hmm. I don't usually do a whole complete switch over. So I think that was it for my Walmart. And then I made my way over to Joanne's. And I found a lot of cute things at Joanne's. I found some ribbon. Oh, I like those. Thank cute. you. Mm -hmm some time. I don't remember how much I paid for it because they are having a sale going on right now. So I found a ribbon. I found a lot of nice picks. And this will kind of give you some idea of my vibe for Halloween. I like the velvet on that. That's I know. Cute. Velvet's really, mm -hmm. back for in. home decor, velvet is very much the rage. I like these because they look dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's great for Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. I found these. They're like your little boxwood or eucalyptus, but they look all like crusty. Yeah. So I found the, all of these I found at Joann's, just in their floral department. Those are Again, cute. I like the pink one. Velvet is really in style. And another one of these. And then, so I can. hand those to my Vanna. <laughs> I found a lot of wooden pieces, unfinished wood at Joyous. I found this tombstone. It's cute. And again, I will include, we're going to have a lengthy description box. Mm -hmm. I found oh, this links. little coffin. Oh, I like that one. Very cute. Mm -hmm. So again, some of these will be used for Emma's finishing. She decorates a little bit different than I do. And then a little tiny tombstone. I thought that was cute. Mm -hmm. So I think that was it for my Joey's. Joey's. Did I buy anything else at Joey's? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. And Not for the finishing. This I'm gonna show. I'm also at the end gonna show a little, we're gonna, have a little bling for our bags and for our scissors and so I'm going to include that at the end. Okay, next I went to Hobby Lobby. I found some, I can always fit this gingham ribbon into everything. Mm -hmm. So I just got a, I believe it's a one and a half inch gingham ribbon. I found this pumpkin which they have this size 
And they also have cool. a little fatter size, like this short, wide one. So I got that. I found this, which I'm just in love with. It's a little chalkboard with the gold. Oh, like I said, you can kind of get a vibe for how I, a feel for my Halloween vibe. It's also, you can hang this or you can set it on the table so you can use it either way. I liked, picked up that. They always have these. They have white and they have orange. So I picked up a wooden pumpkin. I'm not sure I'll keep it white, but I found that. I found these, this galvanized box set, which I'll include the skew below. I thought this would be fun for a lot of finishes in all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they're on sale this week. They're regularly $26.97, I believe, but I purchased it when it was 40% off. So I found that at Hobby Lobby. I found this panel piece, which I love. Ooh, I love that how it's kind of weathered. Yeah. And again, that's really my style for Halloween. So I found that. They have some great picks there. And so I picked up this one. Oh, uh, Hobby Lobby. I felt like it went with everything else I had. So I grabbed that and then one thing at my goals, because I have a large Lizzie Kate piece mm -hmm. and I found this very large my goodness. coffin. So, and they do still have these in stock, at least online, as this video goes up. Now with my unfinished pieces, if I'm going to finish anything on one of these unfinished pieces, I'm going to go ahead and get it set up before the video. And my favorite thing to use is this Rust-Oleum stone, but they have a lot that are, I don't know if I'm getting a good picture of the texture. Yeah, it's like a, it but really it's, like it a is stone. like a stone texture. And I'll usually spray the item first with this and then use a black or green, whatever color I want to afterwards. And you get a really great fun texture with mm -hmm. that. Now at Hobby Lobby, I almost forgot, I did find this little oval because I have an oval piece that I'm thinking about finishing. If I have anything small to finish, I use this folk art. This is the chalk in, I'm not sure I can read what color that's in. It's, it's a black, but I think it's a matte black. Folk art, chalk, chalk paint, not chalkboard paint. And so I'll usually paint that first and weather the edges on that. And then, let's see, I think that was it. Wasn't that enough <laughs> for everything I gathered to get my finishing going? I, um, like I said, I won't be doing any pillows. Anything that someone has created that they, that I'm gonna finish the same way they finish them, I won't show because I'm just gonna follow their tutorials that they already have online, which are really great. And so these are just gonna be unique, different items. Mm -hmm. I will. Do you want me to go ahead and go into our Halloween bling for spooky September? Yes. I found these at my local Hobby Lobby. These are those little tiny embroidery hoops, but you'll find them if you're looking online, wooden frame oval or wooden frame circle. They're the Artiste brand. Mm -hmm. So you find them in the cross stitch section. And I think they were like $3 for a whole little pack. So we're going to do some fun little designs to hang on to like our project bags or that kind of thing. We're going to make some project bag bling. I'm excited for this. I use yeah, the just these little like, um, they're not O-rings. It's more like a key ring. It has the, uh, you know, the little where you have to go. Mm -hmm. I forget what those are called. I picked up some charms. These, I found all these at Joann's. They're the Hildy and Joe brand. And I just picked up some that I thought looked kind of spooky. These are roses. Mm -hmm. And then I've already taken some of these off, but it was just a repeat Those of nice. these. I so I'll put all these on. I always purchase these little... Just like O-rings, kind of. They're, yeah, but they're not O-rings because again, they're like that keychain style. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole little pack at Amazon, and I will include the skew for those. So this is all I need to make our little 
bling. Uh, bling for our bags. And then while I was shopping around, I found these for Emma and I. Which I love these. Let me these are little doll up. pendants. And mine comes with that cute. little, um, what's that little hook? Uh, like called? a lobster claw? Yeah, mine came with one, hers didn't. But I'm actually gonna use mine as a scissor pop. And I purchased these yesterday. So cute. I'm gonna add a lobster claw to mine so mm -hmm. I can use my scissors. I think these are super cute. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna decorate our scissors with those. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be all ready for spooky September. And at the end of the video, I'll give you some more approximate dates for what we're going to do. Yep. I don't have a series plan right now because I really wing a lot of my finishes as I'm going. So I'm going to do it ahead of time and film it so I can make sure that what I'm filming is what I'm going with. And again, after we show the video, I will include pictures of how I was able to incorporate that in the decorations I already have. And so I think that's about it for my spooky September. Yes. I, I'm also going to show if you guys, I figured you guys might want to see what I've already finished, FO'd mm -hmm. for Halloween. So you can get some ideas of maybe the items that I'm planning to finish this week. I mean, not this week. Oh, it has a lot of finishing. This month, coming mm -hmm. month. Yep. I think it's September, but it's not. It's, it's August. We're close, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. So what are you thinking about doing, Emma? So for the spooky September, I'm new to finishing. My mother, my lovely mother, has been my finisher for all my stuff so far. So I've started with just some basics, things I can change out, somewhat simple finishing just to start, and I'll add on to it if I want to finish more throughout Spooky September. So for the first one, which, let me see if I can find it. Here we Again, go. we usually pick, like I said, some pretty basic finishes so Emma can just incorporate things that she already has sitting out, just switch mm -hmm. them out she does a lot of seasonal monthly items oh yeah so. so for the first one it's the lizzie kate which this is what i had on it previously just the year and charms and i finished it on this this is just a little chalkboard from hobby lobby i don't have the tag still but i'm sure we'll we can check find something and see similar. if they have them i yeah. think it came in like a three pack mm -hmm. two or three pack and then we just velcroed it same thing we'll velcro the back of the finishing just so you can mm -hmm. change it out for the month i've got december done and then now that I have October finished, this is what I will finish it on. And I'll just do it the same way with mm -hmm. the press board, pick a fabric, and then Velcro it on the back just so we can switch it out. And then Great. this one I'm super I excited one, to finish, one. especially because October, there's a Friday the 13th, so we get twice as spooky that month. Who knew? This is just the Witchy Stitcher Camp Crystal Lake, and I'm going to I finish this on something I found in Hobby Lobby. Just she in found the, this in the unfinished wood section. Yep, mm -hmm. which I'll add the link to the description. It originally goes like this, but I think I'm going to move the yeah, string so sure. I can do it up and down. Mm -hmm. But I just thought that looked perfect. I'm going to stain it so it's a little bit darker, more spooky, yeah. and it just will look like that original sign in the movie. I love that. So That's going to be super cute, Emma. This. I'm probably going to stain this sometime <clears throat> this week just so it's So ready. Emma kind of knows what she's finishing on what. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not sure. And these were actually the first one I was kind of relearning oh, yeah. how to stitch. It's the trilogy, the Domes of Doom. Mm -hmm. It's just the little three series. So this I finished like, I think I did this like four years ago. Oh, yeah. And we finished this one, just a little fabric. And it was finished on this little easel from Hobby Lobby, which I'll add that to the description. It's got the little clip, try not to break it. So you can switch them out. So I for Spooky that. September, I'm going to finish these. We got the little owl and cat, cute. skeleton and ghost. And I'll just finish it similar to how we did this one with the fabric, just so I can switch mm -hmm. them out on the same thing. I love that. So Emma. that is that. And did and you want to show? Yeah, I'll show. I stitched yours. the same pattern Emma did, but I finished mine on natural. Mm -hmm. Al is one piece. And I believe that didn't, that border didn't come with the charts, did it? Mm -mm. Well, it I got these from a magazine, so I think the border was extra, yeah. Yeah. So that's how I finished mine. Oh, FO'd mine. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some FOs I have sitting in the drawer some seasons are busier than others so i don't necessarily get everything done i'd like to this is a prior lizzie kate mm -hmm. it was a freebie chart on a larger chart so i finished that one these are items that are in the run for finishing mm -hmm. this is a, another lizzie kate these were finished on natural and this is just a green linen that i had i probably picked up in a grab bag somewhere. This is a cutie. I love that one. I love the purple. 
that I'm gonna frame. This I think I'm gonna frame. This is a Stitching with the Housewives. I just did that one. Instead of the, was it originally stitched on black? I think so, yeah, like that chalkboard. And I just stitched mine on, ran and changed up some colors. This is on Murky. These are, I probably won't finish these right now because I actually have a little haunted house that I purchased at, I don't, Michaels. they might still have them, mm -hmm. at Michael's a few years ago. And so I bought these patterns off eBay. Nope, Etsy. And I have a whole little set. So I was going to finish these so I could set them into the different rooms mm -hmm. of it. So I'm not finished that. This is an old uh, Lizzie Kate. I love that one. Finished on Ada. Uh, I'm sure it's fabric flare because it's a blue striped Ada. This, okay, this is what I'm queen of. <laughs> I don't cut until nothing is cut before it's time. <laughs> So this is a Lizzie oh, Kate wow. that I finished. And these are some of the ones that are in the running maybe for the coffin. Mm -hmm. It's on the murky. They're all finished on murky. Finished this one. I think all I have left is to add the buttons. I finished this one. It's out of a magazine. Out of a Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine. To have that one finished. A little uh, frosted pumpkin. Oh yeah, this one was so cute. Have that finished. And this is a Bit Creek, I think. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like Bit Creek. Yep. So those are in the running. I finished. This is Hands On Design and Priscilla. So that one's waiting to be, all these are in waiting. Mm -hmm. So this is a, another Lizzie Kate. That I finished. On my favorite, Murky. I'm gonna have to get some Murky. You will notice I finish a lot of my Halloween things on Murky. This is another, pretty sure this is Bent Creek. So. As you can tell, as you can see, I have a lot of items in waiting. This mm -hmm. is a, I want to say maybe Silver Creek. Yeah, it looks like it. And this is an Ada from Picture This Plus, and I can't remember the name of it, but I think I've given the rest of it to Emma. So I have that. This is something else I stitched on it from a magazine. I think this is from a magazine. Mm -hmm. And then this is a... Little Lizzie Kate. So, some more Lizzie Kate. I really, this might be what I was thinking for the coffin. I love I that. I have three one. of her large ones complete. Those are so cute. And this is murky that still. That is right? murky. Oh, I'm going to get some murky after this. So, I'm going to have to decide which one of those I want to do for that. This I purchased. Or is, no, I think this was a magazine. This is a magazine. It's just a ding dong, the witch is dead. Mm -hmm. All in black and all on a natural linen. This is another hands-on design and Priscilla. Stitched on a picture of this plus even weave, shadow. Do you have any, I know I'm going through these fast just to show you guys what I am preparing to stitch, but if you have any specific questions on any FOs I show you, ask in the box below or in the, the comment comments. section below and I will get, I'm trying to be really good at getting back to you guys as fast as possible. This is a, this is Gail Boosie, I, I think. And I love her style. This is just Cross Stitch Magazine. So I finished that one a while super ago. Cute. I think that one's super cute. This is a Lizzie Kate that I finished that I love. And I'm not sure. It looks like a maybe brash mm -hmm. linen picture. This plus is what I used. So that one's sitting in the finish box. Mm -hmm. I have just this little tiny Lizzie Kate on some extra fabric. It's just on a, um, it's just on a brown natural linen. Finish that. These two little cuties, I want to say, 
pretty heart and hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are cute. So there will be little circle finishes. I probably won't show those because those are the ones I do on the beaded ornaments. And mm -hmm. if you've seen the Stitching with the Housewives, the roundabouts, I use the exact same finishing technique. This is a freebie. I'm gonna put the link below because this oh, wow. is actually what I'm thinking about for the oh, oval. That's perfect. And I have some, let's see if I can get into this, some finishing trim. Oh, I took this out. I purchased this at Fat Quarter Shop. I took it out, but if you look at it, it looks like it's been left out in the yard. <laughs> like on purpose. Yeah, but you see it's how it's sticky. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I and I can't it. remember what it's called. But I thought that looked a little haunted. I do have some finishing trim that I do purchase from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm not sure if I have anything else in here that I will necessarily use. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, again, I'll put the link to this one because this would be a super cute, fun finish where I think you would feel super accomplished. And again, I'm gonna mm -hmm. paint this black and I'm gonna rough it up and I'm gonna most likely find something oval shape that I already yeah, own to uh, trace it out. So again, I'm not gonna, you won't see any serious sewing or lacing or any of that this September. Mm -hmm. But hopefully you'll see some cute finishes. Hopefully you'll get some inspiration and hopefully you'll get some things finished in your home to display so you and your family can enjoy all of your stitches. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where we're at for our prep for Spooky September. Mm -hmm. We're planning to come back this week with our regular video. I know we're a little few days late. We're gonna come back. We were planning on Wednesday, mm -hmm. but I think now we're in Southern coastal South Carolina. And now it looks like we may be getting a tropical storm Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So if everyone is still going to work, we'll do it. If they're off for work, then we won't, just so Emma doesn't drive over here in a Friday. tropical storm. Mm -hmm. And so we'll wait for Friday. We have plans to go to our the local needle workshop, Stitch and Kitten, mm -hmm. so on excited. Saturday. I so like. we're hoping. And hopefully they'll let us film a little bit in there mm -hmm. because I would love to show you guys uh, one of our South Carolina shops. And I think that is our plan. So we plan to see you this coming week. Mm -hmm. And that'll be all of our usual whips, finishes, etc. If you have any questions about anything that we have shown here, please, like I said, feel free to leave us a message and I will get right back with you. We have our email below as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to get us started for our spooky September. Mm -hmm. We're excited. We can't wait to hang out with you guys. Mm -hmm.